Today we're going to take a look at the chart lab and we're going to examine every chart and I will explain to you how to use it in your trading and what it does. So the chart lab you will find at the left menu under chart lab. By the way, if you want to switch between light and dark mode, you can toggle it here in the top right very easily. For this video, we'll stay in light mode. The first chart is our compare charts module. So you have two drop downs on the left and the right side and you can choose the different charts that we offer and then you can view them side by side to analyze correlations and to get a deep dive into your trading performance. Next is the calendar on the list and here we have a breakdown of the different days and the different months and you can very quickly see do you have a red day which means an overall losing day or a green day or a break even day in gray. If you want to get more insights, you can click on the title here and the month name and then you can see a detailed breakdown for the specific months. How many trades have you taken on a given day and what are the total P&L? By the way, you can just click on the day and then we will automatically jump to the journal and see the trade or trades that we're taking on that day. Next is the graph for consecutive losing and winning streaks and here we visualize the duration and the significance of losing streaks. Here at the top left we can toggle between losses and wins and here we have losing streaks visualized. This journal has a losing streak of two trades and three trades. There are no losing streaks where the trader had four, five, six or more consecutive losses in a row. Then what you will see is the consecutive losing streaks of three trades cost the trader overall $1,213.42. When we switch to the consecutive wins and the winning streaks, you will see that this trader has a variety of different winning streaks. There was a period where he had six winners in a row, seven and even eight. And then you can see how much he made during the winning streaks. Custom statistics is one of our most favorite and most powerful tools in Edgewon because this removes all limitations from your journaling practice. This is completely customizable and you can track whatever you want. Here you can see the trader is tracking the timeframes, the confluence factors, price patterns, but also you can, you can also use it for preparation. How well did you prepare? You can analyze your mental state as a trader. How is it impacting your performance? You can track different indicators if you're using indicators. You can track the overall market sentiment. You can track missed trades, news events, price action, and there are no limitations. So every trade that you take, you can tag different set of categories and then later get a detailed breakdown. For example, when we switch to the time frame, you can see that the 1, 30 minute and 15 minute are performing very well, whereas the higher time frames are underperforming for that trader. Drawdown is our next graph and here we visualize the size of the drawdowns that the trader has been in. So you can see this is an underwater table and what it shows you is that here for example on the peak the highest drawdown that the trader had was minus 10.33%. By the way you can see there is a trade number here shown 229994. If you want to look for that trade you can just type it in here 229994 hit enter. And then you can see the trade pops up and you can see when was it taken and what are some of the details. You can look at the screenshots if there are screenshots attached. Efficiency is the next metric and it's a very important one because it shows you how disciplined are you in your trading or how often have you broken your rules. For example, if we go to this point, we have a trade efficiency of 41.18%, which means that the trader respected his rules on 41% of his trading decisions and 60% of the time when making a trading decision such as entering a trade, exiting a trade or managing a trade, he made a mistake. Very interesting is then for example you can compare the charts and look for efficiency and compare it, for example to your equity graph. And then you can see do you see a difference when the efficiency is going up or down, does it reflect on your performance as well. Just one way to use it. Equity graph is your standard equity graph and you can choose the display here. You want to see the gain of and the loss of your trading account. You want to visualize the account balance growth, the percentage or the R multiple. R multiple will only work if you have stop loss and take profit levels for every trade. And then you can also add other components. For example, we can analyze it with or without fees if you're tracking fees. Tracking fees is optional in Edgewonk. You can display the tilt meter. The tilt meter is a tool where you visualize your level of discipline, how often you break your rules. You can also add a moving average to the chart which is very interesting because it shows you right away is your equity graph currently the green line trading above the moving average like here which is a good sign or is it dipping below it which means that 
your performance has been less optimal than in the past. So whenever you see your performance dip below the moving average, it shows you that either you are in a longer losing streak or maybe you are more in a sideways phase. And then you can dig into your performance and analyze what is going on and do you need to make some adjustments. Exit analysis is a graph that I want to go into later in more detail. We'll skip it for now. Next is the holding time and here we visualize how long have you been holding your trades, how long have you been in them and what is the performance. So when we hover over a dot you can see green means a winning trade. It's also above the x-axis and there you can see the trade ID, you can see the exit date, you can see the holding time 2.15 days and you can see the loss of the given trade. You can also change the time settings. So if you are a day trader, maybe you want to change it to minutes and then you can see we have the minutes here. This account is more of a swing trader. So you can see the values are very high. And in that case, we should stick to maybe hours. And you can see we have a lot of high duration trades here with this journal. And this is how you can then dig into your holding time. Performance by instrument. So here we break down all the different instruments that you have used in your journal and you can use Edgewong for pretty much anything, whether it's Forex, crypto, stocks, futures, commodities or indices, you can use Edgewong and adapts automatically. And then you can see here the breakdown of your performance. Again, you can change it. Do you want to see it in percentage or in our multiples? And then you get a different breakdown. You can also change the sorting by instrument name. So now it's sorted alphabetically or you can change it by sorting by value. By the way, we have our filter here at the top and the filters apply to all the different graphs. So if, for example, you only want to analyze the last 50 trades, we can do that here. And then after a short moment, you can see the filter adapts. If you want to clear the filter, you can click here on the top X and then the filters are removed and then we are back to normal. But I will go into all the filters in a different video later. Now, performance by setup works very similar to the performance by instrument, but here you can look at different strategies that you have used in your journal and then you can get a breakdown of the performance. We also have a breakdown by time so you can visualize the different performance by weekday from Monday through Sunday. You can change the visualization. Do you want to go by entry date or by exit date? You can change the period. You want to go by weekday, Monday through Sunday. You can go by the hour of the day which is maybe interesting for day traders or for long-term traders, you can even go for the month. Performance ratios is new and this has been requested many times. So here we visualize the development of the most important performance ratios over time. So here you can see we have the Sharp ratio, we have Sortino, we have the Gain to Pain, the Kalmar, Profit Factor and the SQN. In the future, we will provide additional information around all the performance ratios. We are also gonna add the performance ratios to things like the trade analytics, or also the monthly reports very soon. Our distribution is next. So if you're using take profits, stop loss and the R multiple or the reward to risk ratio is an important part in your trading, this chart is also very helpful. It shows you how many trades do fall into the specific R distribution. So for example, here we have three trades that happen between zero and 0.5 R. Here we have 24 trades that are a losing trade between zero and negative 0.5 R. So you can get a nice visualization of your R distribution. Trade comments are the comments that you assign for your trade entries, trade exits and the trade management. So you can use that for classifying your entries, your exits. You can, may, you can use it to tag your mistakes, to analyze them later on, or you can analyze them for however you would like. So here you can see we have trade entries selected and we are seeing then the breakdown of the perfect entry versus an entry that is too late, a too early entry or an impulsive entry. And again, you can change the visualization here between gain loss or percentage as well. You can change between you want to analyze only the trade entries or the trade exits or of course the trade management. Which brings us next to the trade management graph, which is one of our most sought after features. And here what we do is we visualize your performance. How well is your trade management performing? Are you leaving money on the table? So if you're seeing that your green graph is above your orange graph or the brown graph, it means that your actual performance here in green is better than your potential performance. Some traders will see that their potential performance is above the actual performance, which means that you are leaving money on the table because potentially you could have made more money by just leaving your trade alone. Many new and amateur traders will mismanage and overmanage their trades, maybe moving the stop loss too soon, maybe taking profits too early, maybe taking profits too late. 
and they are leaving money on the table for various reasons. And if you see that your potential performance graph is above the actual performance, then it's time to dig into what is going on, analyze your entries, your exits, your trade management to find the issues and the errors, and then you can start correcting your behavior. And then we have the win rate over time. So you can see we plot the win rate and the development over time. In the beginning, you can see we have a win rate of 58% and then currently we have a nice uptrend and here we are currently trading 66%, 67% and most recently 67%. So this is a nice way of visualizing your performance and your win rate over time and get an idea if you are improving your system, if you're maybe lacking something and you can spot trends and developments early on. And those are all our graphs. We are adding new graphs, we are changing new graphs, we are improving new graphs with the help of your feedback. So make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notified about new updates. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below and we will be ready to answer it.